beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Leas. Estou aqui no começo do vídeo para pedir duas coisas importantes aqui para vocês, para ajudar o canal. A primeira é deixar um like aí no vídeo, aqui embaixo, vai ajudar demais o feedback. E a segunda é se inscrever no canal, que estamos com a meta aí de 200 mil inscritos, fechou? Tamo junto, rapaziada. Espero que curta o conteúdo aí. E é nóis. Galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Leas, tô aqui no começo do vídeo só pra apresentar pra vocês o Sesco Fest, mano, patrocinador fiel aqui do canal e graças à força de vocês liberaram mais um doll pra todo mundo que utilizar o cupom Aleas. Caso você queira depositar qualquer coisa e continuar aqui jogando aqui no site, mano, não esqueça de utilizar o cupom Aleas e utilize também o link, sempre o link na descrição, fechou? Tamo junto, galera, e bora pro vídeo. Clustered up together, and Lux is trying to be that first contact point, but Woody swung out wide, and he was, they weren't expecting a move like that, but do they know about Phelps, who was yet to reveal his hand? So much jumping to try and avoid getting headshot, but this Lurk Smoke from the CT side has been quite a problem. Stops them from making their way towards default without going straight into a crossfire. Hard to oh. deal with, dueling alone, but somehow getting there, leaving VSM and Lukalzi alone here for the CT side. They're in trouble now. That was looking good, especially with that delay, but the kills came through for Team 1. Two on four is real difficult. The one person that Malps didn't cite directly, Lukowski, is still left alive and has been become one of the top performers, but can get nothing in the pistol round. VSM, he is certainly sharp. Best smile in Brazil, I always call him. And I don't think Team One are going to make sure that he smiles coming out of this round. Shadow spotted, but can't finish off the kill. It'll be IDK to close on pistol. Top of the site has certainly gone. They're trying to force the fight in round the connector, and they will be able to go one for one at the very least. Phelps with that AWP. He started the round with it, never was able to give it right back over because Team One were so damn quick. But you said the money was going to be in a compromised position here for Flux, so they might try and save if they're given the space. They'll be given a frag though, and that has got to be the go command at this point. There are kits on both players. I think we've got a smoke going towards Connector to try and secure the defuse laser on. But first, they've got to find the kills. Convince someone's by default, but they can't get that kill. Still alive for now as he moves over to the fireboxes. Pressing forward now. They've got to deal with this player, but IDK will deliver the frag. The reload won't matter. Too deep for Phelps to go and commit to that kill. He can't win the round. He might get a kill. We'll see if he saves his weapon here. That might be hard as well. He'll be denied. Here for Fluxo. Damage being done through Connector, but the numbers game is towards the ramp. And the AWP's gone back and committed to that B bomb site. Not with the team. Rotation will take a while, but they are getting some kills here. Hold on a second. Malbs is alone. 1v3. Trying to do what he can. Woody's got Kevlar as well, so this won't be too easy. Woody wins the still, he's still in this position. It's been such a nuisance, and he still finds kills. This shouldn't be possible, but the weapons are coming in as well. Fluxo, this reinvestment, the, the unideal buy, it's going to keep happening. But unless Maluk has something to say about it, and he finds a couple of kills right for Maluk to make a play, but he's committed to the bomb site because so is the bomb. We can see three smokes up in mid and he was behind them as he got deleted and i think flux thought there was a b split coming with those smokes up that would certainly suggest it so they are somewhat double op right now out of position they still have a man advantage however as they head back towards the a bomb site you can see woody in that mid position phelps is getting dropped as well which is gonna even up the numbers for a brief moment but luke Halsey has something to say about that looking to make it a three versus one now as he tries to take down the bomb planter but trk will deny him and back and forth we go two players remaining for fluxo both with kits as woody dances around this smoke but idk has no idea he's standing next to woody there is the trade and now trk on the ramp has the information is he going for the straight defuse he is he's fully committing to this trk trying to get him off the defuse but he will fully commit to it the round is Woody's just trying to keep his atten keep their attention over on the safe bomb site. Maluka spotted him as well, but now they come up the connector, and that's what they were waiting for. Woody will finally show his hand, but they get the kill they need to an entry onto the A bomb site, and they've actually just split up the defense here from Team One, and they're bypassing those A players. The bomb is splitting the B bomb site from CT spawn. What in the blazes is this? Maybe a delayed split because Lukalzi's almost in T spawn, but the bomb's over towards B now, and IDK has Ooh. to try and stay alive. He'll do better than that. He'll drop Phelps. And now VSM is asking for help. He'll take it into his own hands, though. Drop IDK, and there goes TRK to the P250 of Lux, leaving Pesadello in a one versus three. He's in the apartments. They know where he is now. Play the numbers as he tries to deliver these headshots with the USP, but you can see he is being invited into a crossfire. Ooh. That was delicious from Pesadello. He only needs one. Where, where is Lukalzi? 
one more to find. Lukalzi trying to hold on at this point. Pissed oh. it so dangerous. That is an outrageous clutch of the USP. Against what? Outsiders, but he is really showing up in this matchup. Moving into the A bomb site now. There's a lurker in the palace, ready to swing at the right time. And they need to because, oh, never mind now. VSM has been dropped, and finally we get the first kill. But is it too late for Fluxo in this round? They've only got two players left, but the CTs are on the rotation. And Phelps, he sees the shadow. Surely he knows one is coming, but is he ready for the second? Look how he pops in there. Oh. That is outrageous from Phelps. That 180. Pesadello straight through connector. Not sure if he saw Phelps on short. Either way, will fall back and try to keep the numbers up. But Maluk will be dropped. And again, the team's fast into the A bomb site. TRK utterly. Phelps hearing the information, player in con, and round the smoke that's not gone through it. So Pesadello is a sitting duck. Malbs round his own smoke can find nothing. And IDK, a one on four, would certainly be something, but he finds the first and dinks the second. It will not be enough. There are triplets in your area, and they know it. The flash is perfect, and Malbs will collect on all three. The timing could not have been better. Lukowski is left lonesome. Kirby with an AWP, no less. TRK making them go real deep to find that kill and denying them, exposing them for Maluk as well. A trade from Lux, a trade from Pesadello. That makes it a four versus one, made four. Be ahead of his scheduling. No vision of mid though leaves IDK going back towards the B box side, but TRK will get the kills on the A box side along with Pesadello. And now we're in the one versus two. They know where Phelps is. Phelps has a rough idea of where Pesadolo is at the very least, but he has no idea where Malbs is. He knows he might be around B, but he's heading towards Palace, in fact. 20 seconds. Is there time for a B rotate? Perhaps not. Where is that second player? Phelps is asking. His time is being wasted on the ramp here. 10 seconds on the clock now. Rings the bell. Keeping money for the next round, but they'll try and do what they can. There'll be a gamble here. There's a flashbang and a headshot, and pesadello has got much work to do. Boosted like it's an eco round for the CTs. They're losing players, and he does not have an angle just yet. He needs a multi-frag. He needs more than this. VSM starts to plant a bomb now, looking for something else. <laughs> He gets both kills as the bomb is planted, but there is the trade. Well, quite a wild round now, which leaves Maluk in a one versus two. That really didn't pan out the way they wanted, but he's made it winnable. Maluk <gasps> finds Phelps in that short pillar. He knows that Lukowski oh. by the bench, but he picks it around on Eco. This could be everything, or it could be absolutely nothing. Lukowski legs, but there's the headshot from VSM. There's the entry into the A bomb site, and suddenly things get very urgent for Team One. Oh, the backstab from Phelps as well is so well timed. Pesadello will at least get one in response, but trying to group themselves up and retake this faster before the Fluxo get that bomb down. That'll just add more time pressure to it, but it actually diverts attention. Players not watching, smoke's around the corner, and IDK will not get his opportunity to strike. They don't consider this smoke wholeheartedly, so it's back to three on three. They've got two smokes as well. They can smoke off multiple choke points and put mollies in front of them as well, but they're still losing players. Pesadello and IDK, two versus two now. Are there kits? Indeed, there are. Pesadello still on the site, looking for these players, cannot find them. Surely they lose. Galvanizes, Flux, though. Although there's no guarantee they win this round. <laughs> and Malbs will do his best with the Desert oh. Eagle, but look at the angles that he's forcing these T's to fight him in. Oh. Three shots from Malbs with the Desert Eagle, and only Lux and Lukowski remain. Surely not like this. Finally, he's dealt with at the very least. Lukowski seems to be the only bane for Malbs' shenanigans. And the big thing is that rifles couldn't be, have been recovered here for Team 1, but the fact that they have this flank so fast. Oh no, oh no, oh, it's all gone terribly wrong. I thought Maluk was gonna Very miss. fast, out of Palace, the smoke doesn't get there in time, but no one's looking at TRK, so the numbers are gone, the bomb spotted, and they are losing too many players too quick. Phelps the last man, and he has been a hero, but he needs to find four. There's the silence, then four for you. Have no idea you're getting shot from three feet away. Such a fast round, Phelps have so much to do. 1v4 made three. All on the A bomb site. They will work together. They will force you to walk into a trade frag situation in their favor. One minute ten on the clock for Phelps. You see TRK on the ramp. Every time he fires his weapon and refreshes their information, they'll all move and make things even worse now. They won't be too concerned of the ramp for the next 30 seconds. He has no idea where the other two players are. Can't even go into CT for free with 50 seconds on the clock because the event's not broken. It goes, it gets even more difficult for Phelps. Great 
flying towards jungle and there's the big headshot to finish it off explosive from start to finish right then team one will start on the ct side fluxo will be the aggressors do we have peach 50s on deck indeed we do for lukowski but of course maybe i'm a curse because he gets deleted before he can even fire a shot collected by luxo who will pop pesadello so much extra range for that P250. It's crucial for a pistol round on many maps. Some information. Maluk re-peeking in and VSM's trying to go for the wrap. They weren't sure if Malps had crossed and he will take this fight and try and keep them busy. VSM will activate as well on his lurk over towards the, the short position. He's inside of the site and he's got the backstabs, but he's lost to the bomb and his teammates alongside it. IDK and Malps are the survivors and VSM will try and be the best of what was offered here for Fluxo. He's going the long way around too. To spend time clearing things instead he knows he's in a one versus one now he knows one's by middle doors but has that cc crossed already no 10 seconds to plant that bomb and short oh. possible vsm got so much clutch in him can he get behind the boxes in time indeed he can sprays as well the one taps from vsm he announces his position dropping a smoke grenade to slow down the push from fluxo as well there is the Lurk eliminated by Pesadello. Lukowski is down. Maluk up close now, really up close. And suddenly we're in a four versus two. The numbers dropping for team one. Soon there might be one left as there's, there's only two right now. IDK well out of position. The bomb site from multiple directions. So far, so good as a flashbang for the B bomb site as well, but taken down through mid. You can see Malbs has been boosted up, looking for something. Going through the smoke of his teammates, trying to play off of him. Gets one, drops the bomb and Lukowski as well. That leaves Woody in a one versus two. Point of no return. Surely a trade is all but guaranteed here if he takes the right shot, especially. We're going to see that pop out. Oh my oh, god, TRK just a bit. And he's a HE grenade because it kicks up so much dirt. We'll see if that happens later on. For now, VSM's going to be the one trying to make entries into the B bomb site, but TRK's in the right place at the right time of the right elevation to find two. And this will be hard to convert for Flux, though. Can't lose this one, surely. A five on three, and they get those kills so clean. Lux answering back with a double, and Woody is answered again. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry for it, because oh TRK is God. a sitting duck. It's only Maluk, and he's traded. They lose the opener. Maluk has had the AWP quite a few times over, but has not been able to get engaged. Kill from Malves will secure at least a path to go for a retake later on, but Lux is still there to lock it down. There is a trade again, so three on three, but if they do plant on this A site, they've got a pretty thin spread of players. The one that's going to be chewed out. Back to two on two, equal numbers all the way. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble, is Woody, but he's still alive. IDK looking for the cavalry. Here they are, but you've got to find that kill. The USP will finish off the job there. Down to the 1v1 now. So much pressure on IDK to get a round for the CTs, but Phelps will deny him. The CTs in this round, but have a look at Woody's position. Oh, he was holding the angle as well. As soon as he stops, the kill is there for Pesadello. But what did the rest of the team do? Oh, maybe just hit his clean heads. Team one. Dancing around fire and hot coals. That bomb not planted just yet though. Maluk's flank has been eliminated. Many CTs coming from that short position and they, all the remainder have got Kevlar, so this is not going to be easy. Bomb still not planted, but they are giving up the kills here, Team 1. Not another clutch. It can't be. Oh my, it can't be. He's already so low. IDK got the wall bang onto the site player and Lux has no idea where he was last seen. The reposition is fantastic. They should be a kill. Oh, jumps right into his arms <laughs> wide. That's it, just... I those look like kills that they'll get every other day, but this is not Team 1's on Dust 2. Malves will at least find something to, to write home about, and the, the reset between shots is very patient. Malves on the deeg, he was the reason they even got- but IDK is left on a complete island here, both angles being covered, and there will be at least a drop of the bomb, so that can buy more time for a Team 1 to consider this one, but it's just maybe a little too far gone. They're, they're actually gonna try and put pressure before they get the plan, but Lukowski gets both kills. So what little hope they had of retaking is swiftly dealt with, double digits for Luxo. Yeah, this is a disastrous round. Maluk, he has to hold on to this AWP because... Great idea from Malbs. Will it pay off for him? They need this. Oh, he started well, but the FAMAS versus the AK. VSM only needs that one bullet. 
<laughs> you will say this Heidi K will try to isolate these fights. That flashbang will be very, very strong indeed, but he's gonna press forward now. Lux will peek him permanently as far as Lux 2 is concerned. Ancient might be just around the corner as far as VSM is concerned. Two headshots for him. Three more oh players my. streaming in VSM. He only knows one tap. That's all he knows. Has he done enough? Apparently he has because Phelps. Not the one where you sit in the corner and you have to jump multiple times. Have a look at the demo. Four versus four as VSM tries to make a difference for his team. Of course, one would need to do that in a round such as this where there are all kinds of shortcomings. But that rifle's been lost now. Four versus four, which will favor team one. Although Pesadello might not last too long. I mean, he's got 24 kills on the board already. That man has been really trying to keep his team alive in this. Well, that's going to be an awkward journey into the B bomb site, or maybe it won't be because headshots are being delivered. Pesadello with a great angle now. And that's exactly the kill Team 1 needed because look at their health. Things could have easily got out of hand if Lux have got another kill. But Lux will have to try and hold on to what he can. Team 1 will move to 5. Often a game of two halves. For a spot at ESL Pro League is... A lot, a lot of opportunities that people can sometimes miss out on. Good double kill from Phelps into the wards, the lower tunnels, and Fluxo have found a bit of a gap, or maybe an opening that can be exploited. This is an investment round from them to try and keep Team One in their tracks, stop them, and proverbially they will do exactly that. Again, one for one exchanges, and these M4s, the the premium buys for Fluxo. He needs to try and delay as much as possible, but. Those smokes will make it hard for him as he tries to hold on to the door. Oh, he doesn't escape, but he landed the tag just before he fell to the grave. And one-on-one, -on -one, Maluk trying to get this bomb planted while he has that AWP in hand, has had his fair share of misses. And VSM has never missed an opportunity when he's given the chance and he'll get it again. Same results. Wow, that's quite a snap. <laughs> crazy play for make as well. That's the player who's ready for dust too. Oh, the flashbang is perfectly timed as CRK tries to support his teammate in the pit. It's 1.30 on the clock. It's a 1 versus 5. Seems like third map is a calling and Maluk can do nothing to kick things off the ground. Phelps is taking the first and Lukowski will combine alongside it. IDK can only get one and Malv's a Deeg, a 1 on 4 might be too much to ask. Unscripted violence from Fluxo on Dust2. In the history books for this map, Team 1 were hardly there, but... but not successful. Fluxo are grouped up elsewhere, though, and going for the full commitment to B. Indeed, they are half line, but still making it there and getting the initial kills on the bomb site. All the kills on the bomb site. It's a 5 versus 1. Suddenly, as IDK will be the last man standing. They know where he is now in that mid position after the kill he just got there. Two won't be required Coming off the sniper to throw grenades yeah. around. So it's a very awkward situation for Team 1. It gets even more awkward with Malv getting popped by VSM, but the trade is here for TRK. Smoke down onto the long side and they could have boosted up that you can see they positioned for a double but Pesadelo coming in on the flank was really what they were waiting for that bomb can be retrieved but now they feel boxed in there's no real way for them to reroute out of this site and so now they just have to commit to some kind of a plan and they want to thin the numbers first but they can't do it Phelps falls bomb hits the deck and Lux is left alone it's just the team one finds their first round on the board but early problems as Maluk is isolated and executed in mid Little shift up, and the uh, Molotov gives away the idea here for Malz. Still committing forward, but Woody round the corner. Tag is done, and the uh, frag will be bagged by Woody. So AK to be recovered. More moving over towards the A-box like to help their teammate. Pasadelo, that's a big frag. Pasadelo. TRK will trade it, but. Team 1, they might be invited to just lose all their weapons here, especially after dropping that bomb. And indeed, the trade is here, leaving IDK alone. He is surrounded now. He has to die on his sword. And die on his sword, he will. A little will. steep for it. Flash is great as well to uh, get a bit more room. Smoke that's down. This might work against Flux, so it's theirs. It certainly is because of the time that is being wasted by Team 1. They try and bait the plant. And Lux somehow gets two kills from this, but they still have to plant this bomb. The remainder of Team 1 are here, and the bomb's on the floor now. IDK 
just trying to stay alive here and thin these numbers. Nine seconds to find two players or plant the bomb. He's got to commit to this. He's going for the fake, but will he find two? He's got to run now. Both players actually. One's got to run away. One's oh. got to chase. And he lands the deagle shot to the finish the lead off. Of got. Again, savage aggression. Mouth doesn't see anyone to his left. What is happening? Oh, look at the flurry of kills. The trade frag is there. Once people can see again, that's four by three or one by two. Man. Oh, in AK, so we've got to be real quick about the dink and the kill as well. Oh my god, IDK didn't even feel like he stood a chance. Bomb on back as well, so VSM doesn't have to worry about recovering that one. Pathway to A has been secured. A rotate is coming. It is Pesadelo, his nemesis. It feels like these two constantly go blow for blow. And VSM's no, in, in, in no hurry. He's got a minute. Oh, he saw the edge. And he lands the headshot as well. He knows he's got to get more kills before planting that bomb. Now he plants it with supreme confidence as the rotation is coming through. He's going to go through the smoke as well. This is crazy. VSM 1 versus 4. TRK and Maluk moving together. Maluk oh has a kit. He's going to flank. Are you serious? <laughs> He's banking on them, looking to clear positions before they commit to that bomb defusal. Maluk has a smoke, though. He could smoke and full commit to this defuse, but surely he's going to be at a favorable angle for VSM. He's not on the bomb! Oh, oh the trigger discipline as well. He's missing the kill, gets there eventually. No. Has to go for the reload. I can't oh. believe this! He's got to find the kid what? in the smoke and Do defuse the bomb. Uh, he doesn't have How it. He, he doesn't time. have it. He has not got time. Oh my goodness. I told you he's an alien. I can't believe it. The brain on this man is not all aim. Fight. No one smoking the Molotov quite fast enough. Lukasi took a lot of damage, but they'll subject themselves to flames as well on team one. So a one for one trade in this mid fight to start. Nobody has mid now. The Malbs is going to over to see what's what, but there are smokes up. Malik will deliver a very important frag. Minute 26 on the clock as things go from good to great for team one, four versus two and no VSM in this round. That's a bonus. The bomb lurking towards B though. But the numbers are very, very good for team one. Lux trying to find what he can. One could expect two CTs per site. Oh, don't think he was spotted just there. Has Lux found anything just yet? Looking to maybe catch somebody on the rotation because eventually you have to wonder about that mid position. Didn't find anybody inside Donut. Of course, oh. Pesadelo was caught outside of it. 47 seconds left as the bomb heads towards mid as well. A lot of jiggling and eventually Malbs will be found. Lux, I think, needs a reload. See if he's got enough with these five bullets as he heads in towards this bomb site now. Bomb on the way through Donut. 30 seconds on the clock. IDK not showing just yet. Information and a lot of damage on the Woody. Lux will save his teammate, but only barely. So low on these players. A team one can deny the plant. So Lux left the clutch and the molly down means that he cannot cross safely. They're doubled up. They're ready to swing off one another, but one's with an orb, so you cannot afford to oh! miss. And the nade instead will make sure that Lux never gets a chance at it. Longest bomb plant of his uh, over towards the B bomb site at a really bad time. Baited by a grenade, but Pesadello will fight two at the very least. Try to create space for his team at least. He'll go down, dropping the smoke. Has he done enough though? This is desperate. I mean, Lukowski as well, his position was given up earlier as a, as a result, so knows that he's likely to be lurking with the low HP, but Malves has got so much room, so some information to be relayed over to his teammate trying to link up. Hello. A surprise. Phelps gone, and Lukowski cannot afford to be left in a 1v2. He doesn't have the health to trade. Malves is closing distance, and they're not peeking anything. They waited for the plant first, and Malves will get both. VSM starting to creep up the ramp now. Will there be some flashback support? Will there be a push through the smoke on the other side? The trades continue. VSM is up now. He's taken down by Malves, but the numbers game will allow Lux to trade, and we're into the 2 versus 2. Yeah, behind the plant as well, Pesadelo can do nothing to stop it and trying to get Maluk there engaged in time. Looks taking heavy damage to that nade, but Lukowski up close and Pesadelo... Oh, he catches him, just turned the wrong way, but the AWP shot from Maluk will continue But where do they go afterwards? Switching between single fire and burst fire, depending on the proximity. And that's really not working out for them, running out of bullets, but VSM is here to one-tap again.
This man cannot miss on pistols, and you best if you're gonna take shots at him, you best not miss yourself. Pistadelo, though, lethal in his own right, but cannot finish off on a follow-up frag. One on three, and IDK crunched in the meat grinder. Flux of UMP. We saw a double from IDK when he first invested into it, but Phelps is only doing damage. Dukowski's collecting on kills, and more SMGs will strike true. They want to try and take weapons out of the hands of Team 1 and upgrade these SMGs away, but Malps has slipped on by. His teammate falls, but he doesn't want to make sure that they can sit on top of that bomb, so has to pull the trigger. If he could have gotten a flank going, that would have been lovely, but... Got to try and play for the round win. If, if Fluxo congregated and made sure that all the avenues were cut off, the round would have been certainly more difficult. Mabs has to get his skates on here. The longer he stands here, the more vulnerable he is. Had a brief look towards the A-bomb site, but again, he's got to get to his teammate who's on the B-bomb site, waiting for him to make it there, but he won't make it there because VSM. He'll be forced to fall back as well. If he dies after time, that would be devastating, but tucking away just in time. Number nine here for Luke, Flux. A lot of nades have been expended. Flash will be lined up and looking for the right timing. Kowski will investigate and one kill is all he gets, but that's the one HP player gone. Stop putting them up for VSM on this occasion, though. He will not be able to do enough. And this is a very painful run for Flux, though. Now, Lux remains in the one versus four. He's heading towards the bomb site, but I feel like this one's going 30 rounds from what I've seen so far. And I'm very curious to see who comes out on oh. top there, lining up to take a ticket. He only hits one somehow, Lux. Down goes Lukowski, blind as Lux, losing his position. Does he find one through the smoke? Showing some presence now. Perhaps someone else can make something happen. Oh, he's so close. What? Going through oh. the smoke, that's outrageous from Lux. I can't believe it. And neither can Team 1. The fact that he's made a play like that, three on three now, IDK trying his best to salvage things forward, but TRK's been dropped and Phelps will try and take space. Pace the Dalo round the bomb site and actually dancing around beautifully. The ballerina of Team 1, he might just be enough to save this one. Woody, no idea where IDK has moved off to. Last spotted ramp, but the reposition is perfect. And what Woody, he doesn't have a kit, so time is of the essence. IDK will finally swing. Team for one on that trade. That's profit. Yeah, there's only one smoke remaining for Team 1 here, and they're going for a plan B. That was one way to do it, but Woody is going to respond with two. IDK gets a really important kill, but he loses the bombs through the smoke. That was such a marginal situation, but it didn't go their way. That leaves Pesadello, one versus three with an AWP, waiting for that rotation, but VSM Team 1 looking for a fast one into the B. Bomb side, they've got three players there, and chain flash is coming through, but to no avail because it's Fluxo who are getting the kills. Lose one, win one. That's the story of the day here. As Fluxo looks to find more. A swing and a miss from Maluk, but Pesadello will trade VSM. Four versus two. They're still in this for the time being. I say they. Now it's he, Pesadello. Team one. Just edging forward around the choke point, trying to use these numbers. VSM will wait for them to walk into his crosshair. Finds two, and there is the trade from his teammate Woody. Which is about to get even more so. Lux has a quick look. Not sure how many he sees there, but he knows he's got a fall back. What? He's got great support though, but we do have some kills here. And the bomb is still in control of these teams, but TRK has so much work to do. His teammates in T-spawn, there's 16 seconds to plant the bomb. Surely there's no way he can get this bomb planted. Lux with the USP defeats the Tech 9, I think it was. And Malou comes through the P250. He's got to die before time runs out. Use that smoke to plant the bomb, at least. Looks to go for the frag instead. There's a fake over towards B. Indeed it is. Retake being played on A, as we can see. Lukowski with the AWP moving forward now as he knows there's bomb plant pressure with 20 seconds left. He's got himself a nice angle, but will he be served something? There's nothing but a flashbang for these T's to try and find something, but they will plant the bomb for Donut. They have that map control. IDK, can he trade that frag? No, he can't. VSM, of course. Now we've got a four versus two. Make it two versus two. Hold on a second. They're still in this team one. Can they do more? Mouth dancing oh. around a donut, and they are turning this around. VSM in the clutch. He has a defuse kit. We know what he's capable of, and they're just not going <laughs> to allow him to find anything. He will be teased. He's got time to plant that bomb now. He's only being peaked now. They are just baiting him. Nobody wants to duel VSM, but they've done enough to win that round now. Team one moving to 14, staying alive in this.
Things started off slow, but they are always willing to fight. Smoke on long. They'll try and use the numbers. Nade is well timed, and Woody oh. will be full cleared. The shot from Pesadeo is right on point, and Lux is trying his best to line up. Lux, he's got himself to 30, and Phelps covers his back. It's IDK, a one on three to keep Team One in the tournament. But Fluxo may just call this one out. I don't think IDK's got it in him. I don't know how he comes back into this one, but he will only get one more. It comes down to all 30, but Fluxo will answer back and keep their road to Rotterdam.